Two of my late winter projects, um, stuff I can get done indoors. I'm, I have some other sketches, but pretty much just the rack for my five-gallon water can and my uh, five-gallon gasoline container. And on top is my new radar reflector. It's going to get mounted on the mass ever, um, just above the head sail since I have a fractional rig. It's going to have a bracket that's going to come across and tie to the mass so for a radar reflector. And there's my cardboard mock-up. Eh, pretty much came out like it. And I think I from my, did put the sketch out here. I want to get the sketch showing the rack. And what I have is the, is the, the seat and the cockpit kind of comes up. And I have an area here that the comes down there's a bump where the joint is for the hull and the rub rail is here and then the hull comes down so my ra stern rail comes up the hook is going to go around here and this will be through bolted on those two spots and then down here coming along the side I'm going to use the uh, stainless steel rail mounts with square rectangle base and they're going to I'm going to reinforce the fiberglass and I'll do a backing plate either stainless steel or fiberglass and these will be through bolted with three uh, Probably number 10 screws and I'm gonna cut the top of this to make like a slice through and then this is bracket is gonna slide through here and it'll be through bolted and there's gonna be two of these at the base that attach so the bulk of the weight from the jugs is gonna be coming down and, and really coming right on these two points and this is gonna be three two or three pieces of aluminum plate that's gonna be um, at least three if not four pop rivets through and they also going to bear right on the angle that little piece of aluminum angle that's underneath here so and I think I had said in other videos primarily the five gallon jug is going to be full full to supplement my 11 gallon tank inside and then this one we're really just carrying the gas can because I need the gas can if I have to refill my six gallon two six gallon tanks down below I need this to go to the dock, get the gas, and I have to refill my tanks with a funnel. So I need a place to put it, and this way it'll be off the stern rail um, and out of the way instead of on the, the foredeck or in the cockpit. Um, and if I get the output for the dinghy, I'll have a two and a half gallon tank, but that'll fit in my other side compartment um, on the starboard side. This is going to go on the port side. And this also give me a place, I got my 20 watt solar panel that I had taken off to replace with the 50 watt so now I'll have a 20 watt panel up top so it's gonna be 70 watts and uh, so that's pretty much kind of worked out um, just have these pins here that come out try not to lose them I always drop that washer it seems and there's one on one side and one on the other. And all these things are easier to do with that camera in your hand. And then it just tilts up like so. Look. And that one side keeps catching. So that's pretty much it. I am not going to be able to fit these and finally cut and kind of brush these a little bit more with the wire brush and really fit this until I buy the mounts and get it. I didn't buy the uh, post base yet and and put it on. I took it out and tested it. It does fit, but to final size these, 
the cover needs to be off the boat and I need to have the boat leveled and everything. So that's going to be probably not for another two or three weeks as the weather's breaking here. Or probably not till April maybe almost. So, but the bulk of the work is done. And I've, I'm probably going to go get the aluminum uh, brazen rods and I'm going to put welds on this. I'm going to weld this with the aluminum go over all the ones that I can get to just to straighten up the pop rivets and go around and weld it. I've never done that before, so I figured I'd try it with this one since it's going to be holding a lot of weight. So, but. And the other thing I did realize when I did take it outside, um, this solar panel may have to get shifted out so this may slide from here over to like here just because of my... Um, when the main sheet comes over, I have to make sure it's not going to rub. So that might be still adjusted, but that'll again, it'll be fit. I'll fit that when I get on the boat. forget to take video while I'm fabricating. So I've got the first line on and now I'm putting on the second horizontal bracket. So what I'm doing is actually using these vice grips as as channel locks because actually um, I have vice grips but these are much easier to set and hold so and they're only like two bucks at Walmart. It was a heck of a deal. So I had one. I bought three more and so what I'm doing is I'm drilling one hole and then I'm putting the pop rivet in and then after I get this one set I go back in there with my aluminum speed square triangle and check out the angles again and then I'll drill the second hole so but it's coming along there you go. I always forget to take some video of my my creations on fabricating for my sailboat. So this time I actually, since this is a little bit more intense, this is going to hold a five gallon or six gallon jug for water. And another five gallon, really it's going to hold my five gallon, probably won't be full most of the time. Additional jerry jug for gasoline too. And then on top of it, you'll see I'm going to put my, my, 20 watt solar panel so it'll give me a 50 watt and a 70 watt this is going to hang off my side rail and I have the sketch showing how it's going to make the connections that's kind of like where the top rail is going to go through but what I did is I made a mock-up or at least I kind of that was the theory out of cardboard and I'm already going to make some changes to how that's done even how the support is for the uh, the solar panel on top that's going to be a little bit different than what I have shown um, but here is the actual, there's our cat Oreo, oh, she doesn't want to be filmed I guess, so it's kind of like I have it, part of it starting to frame up, some of the bottom is pop riveted together, and I got to make some cuts today and pop rivet the top pieces that are bent on, I really do need a welder so I can weld these things after I maybe pop rivet them then come back and weld them would be nice. So that's on my list too, but I don't know if it's going to happen. And then this is going to go in there like so. And you should put the tank in there. That's what I should have done. 
and I mean this is going to be made so it'll rotate up so the jugs can come out and then it'll come back down and it'll be through bolted into the top rail the supports just to show I have no <laughs> there's no high-tech fabrication here <laughs> I'm in my conference room in my office because it's warmer than the garage and uh, but no fancy drill presses it's slow and steady gets it done I think It's easier when not holding camera in hand. That's for sure. Just gotta file up, the, clean up the edges a little bit so the pop rivet sits a little bit better, and then we'll get it pop riveted in there. And the other project I'm working on is I'm making a outboard motor mount. I have a nice piece of birch plywood my son gave me, and I cut it down, and so it's going to have two clamps on the rails up here on the top, and there'll be either one or two going down the vertical. And so, plan on hoping to plan and hoping get a small three and a half one of those cheap Chinese made outboards for the dinghy this summer especially if we do another Florida's Keys trip on the schedule so I need a place to put the outboard when we're towing the dinghy so and since this is a good late winter project get enough warm weather so I can do some um, originally wasn't going to fiberglass the plywood since it looks pretty strong but I decided to put like two three coats of glass on it so I got one more top edge to do and the bottom edge the side edges are done and I'm going to do another coat on the front of the back I might do a second I think I'm going to do another second one on the top edge before I put the final um, front and back coats on just to give this the top edge a little more support um, so that's coming along so there'll be another project that'll be done before the winter breaks I'll be able to get the mounts um, for the stern rail so coming along Thank you.